If I were to sing, I pitch, and I'm using a circle. I started with more colors and sounds up in this top end, but through transition, I've started gaining some of these lower colors. I've been adding browns. Browns, in my mind, bring out a sense of warmth and a sense of depth, and that's what I think of as happening to my voice. I was trained as a classical pianist in Mexico. I was seeking to expand my horizons. Although I had that kind of training, at the same time I've always had that curiosity or that interest in getting out of my comfort zone and developing my own voice, if you will. I've always loved concerts and I've loved seeing musicians play. I was a performance student in university and I knew pretty early on that performance was not going to be it for me, but I still wanted to be in that musical community. I started working at music schools and smaller organizations early on, and, and then I eventually started working at chamber music organizations where the, the concerts were on a larger scale. Today we're at Dominion Chalmers. It's our first concert of the season. We're definitely trying to get back into the swing of things, but it's very exciting energy in the building today. In this Carlton program, I can take a practicum, which will allow me to stay in music while also starting to follow my interests in business and in arts administration. When I first started working at Chamberfest, I was helping make contracts and booking hotel and planning rehearsals in a uh, live stream concert while I'll sit in the production room with the score and I help to give cues as to who's going to play. We're like eight bars now. And I determine which camera angles work best in relation to the music. Coming up. I would have not been able to do this if I had not done orchestra or been in an opera before or done chamber music before. And again, it's that musical training that gives arts administrators a unique role. I grew up in the classical tradition. There's soprano, alto, tenor, bass, and they're very set in their gendering kind of ways. And I felt very constricted and confined and uncomfortable in that space. In the last year of my performance degree, I started thinking about transitioning, actually making the decision to make this vocal change is not an easy one. And I knew that I wanted to document my experience. So we'll see where my voice is at today. The idea of my project is that it is a place of improv and exploring gender. I feel like we're breaking out some of these boundaries, getting out of the things that I'm used to doing. That's so cool. This project culminates in that whole experience of me trying to figure out what gender sounds like in the voice, what I'm reacting to, what other people may react to, and get to a place where I could just be Meg and try to find the me in all of that. I was that kind of child that would be drawing all the time and that would be very interested about art in general, right? And when I got started with all of that, immediately I started to feel a necessity of creation. I was not even aware of like the fundamentals of harmony, but I would start to write my own music. My research interests revolve around this idea of exploring how we tend to interact with technology. And not just as artists, but as a society. I'm very intrigued about exploring to what extent we actually are taking advantage of technologies. How can we artists step into that conversation? Then you can start to think about how music, how instruments, how sound has been so important in this conception of technologies in general. If it helps anyone to talk about my life and my experience of transition, I'm happy to do that. Luckily, I got to go into a program that allows me to do exactly that. That was Carlton. At Carlton, I've really found this human aspect. There's people supporting your interests. You can manage to shape it or to tailor it to your own necessities. The beauty and also the challenge of studying in music is that everyone has different background. Common language is always about music, but it's not a traditional career path, and we do it anyways. When you really pursue a career in, in the arts, it's because you are really passionate about it. When you do something that you love, when you do something that you are passionate about, I think that nothing can be wrong. Hopefully, we create a world where we have more understanding of different people and different experiences. <laughs>